Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and I'm back with another uh, Steam Deck gameplay video. Um, this time it's going to be Stolen Crown demo. Uh, I, I want to say I've seen this um, updated recently uh, on my on my feed. Uh, you know, I, I follow, uh, I wish list all these games and follow all these games um, to, to keep track of them. And uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen updates to this fairly recently, Stolen Crown. Uh, this is the demo. Um, I want to say it's fairly recent too. Yeah, it's April of 2022 uh, by Banshee Cat, and it's unknown by Valve. Um, I don't think it has a lot of reviews, if I remember correctly, but it is. Uh, let's see, it's positive, 100% of 12 all time. So there's only 12 reviews. There's not a ton, but it is only from April of 2022. Um, again, un unknown at this time, Stolen Crown, the demo, so let's take a look. I don't think I've done this one on the 1X player. I, I don't recall. Maybe I did. I don't know. We'll see. Banshee Cat. Looks like there's an in-game pointer. Okay, so probably going to use the trackpad for stuff. Uh, yeah, we're not using the... Whoops. Oh, yeah. So, okay. And, and uh, I'm just going to say it again. This is where the Steam Deck is is vastly superior uh, to the One X player. The One X player does not have trackpads, so when you're moving the in-game pointer, you have to use the uh, the joystick. And a lot of times, it moves really fast. It's hard to get exactly where you want it. Um, I even had to slow down my mouse for the for the uh, handheld itself for the One X player itself, and then it goes super slow. It was really a pain in the butt. Uh, but the the trackpad is is so much better. Um, so we're gonna just listen to the music here for a second. We've got feedback, Discord, patch notes, leaderboard, settings, tutorial, and new game. So what do we got for settings? I'm gonna turn that back down because again I don't really play with um, sound up. So we got graphics. Uh, it's set to fastest resolution. Full screen is on. We got music volume, sound effects volume. Disable tooltips. Nope, we want the tooltips on. Uh, key binding, so doesn't look like there's a ton of keys applicable. So unit ability one, two, and three. Next unit show details. Zoom out console. Uh, I don't even know if I can scroll down. Yeah, there we go. Um, enter escape. Move the camera. So you're moving the camera, and that's it. So hmm, we'll see. We'll see if uh, I need to refer back to this for uh, any of the controls um, while it's playing. So let's let's look at the tutorial. This is Stolen Crown. Uh, welcome to Stolen Crown. This tutorial focuses on combat, which makes up the core gameplay. To start, select the tile with your unit on it. Okay. And so I'm just going to say, folks, that some of these games that I'm doing, I have tried, and then other ones, um, I'm just you know. I'm making a video without going in cold. So uh, so let's see. To start, select the tile with your unit on it. Okay, so let's click on that. All right, great job. When you select a unit, the tiles highlighted in blue indicate where you can move. Move to the tile next to the dummy so we can attack it. Okay, um, so look, it says Imperium Prince, 30 of 30. My little underneath my guy says 30 heart and 3 something. It is very tiny, so it is very, very tiny. Probably action points or something. All right, good, uh, good work. See, they, re they, they like to um, tell you you're doing a good job. Good job. Each unit has a set of abilities. When you hover over an ability, the highlighted tiles indicate your possible targets. Click the ability or press 1 on your keyboard to begin casting it. So the abilities down... Whoa, it's one of those. Okay, so... Um, you 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 get as you get closer to the edge of the screen it moves so uh, you better be careful um, so this is one where you can either hover over the ability or in theory you could press a keyboard so you might in theory you might want to bind a key to something um, this says strike deal five damage so again the the wording the text is a little it, actually it's not a little the text is really small the text is really small um, you can magnify, right? So you can magnify, but uh, uh, it is it is pretty small. Uh, let's see over here. We've got stash, deck, discard, depleted, and turn. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click here. I want to see if my camera. So no, that that just moves that. Okay, so 
the the left joystick does move the camera okay so that's 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 good uh, all right so let's go down here and select the strike and then excellent this ability costs one mana and will deal five damage go ahead and attack the dummy so once you click on your card attack I guess you click on your target uh, we can use our ability for another turn we can't use our ability for another turn so it's a good thing we have cards as you adventure you'll build a deck of spells to use in combat uh, use finishing blow to finish off the dummy so here's finishing blow uh, deal six damage if it kills the target gain two mana so we'll click on that and then we'll click on the 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 uh, target great work but let's try fighting something that fights back move next to the goblin so the goblins over here and we've got a couple we've got our two cards so we'll move over here now use one of your cards to attack the goblin so you have rune slash remove buffs from target deal six damage and soul slice deal six damage if it kills the target draw a card um, what well, I, I don't know if it has any buffs I don't see any buffs so you know what we're just gonna use uh, soul slash maybe that's not the best one to do but we're gonna do it uh, you almost got it. We almost got him. We are now out of mana and can't cast anything else. So end the turn. Okay. Okay. Ooh, he smacked me and I'm bleeding. Every turn your mana fit refills and you draw a card. Use one of your cards to finish off the goblin. So finishing blow deals six damage. Uh, if it kills, you gain two mana. And what's he got? He's only got four. Uh, or rune slash. Well, we don't need to do rune slash. So we'll do finishing blow. That goblin didn't go down without a fight. You're bleeding. Units uh, can have various conditions, some good, some bad. Ho hover over the condition to see if its details. Use shrug it off to clear the bleeding condition. So, uh, bleeding. Take two damage at the start of each turn. Okay, so we can use our card, shrug it off, remove all negative conditions for each condition removed, lose one health. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, so we're going to click that. You did it! In addition to cards, you'll collect items you can use for free. Open your stash and use the healing potion to heal your character. So over here on stash, your stash contains the items you've collected. I have one item, healing potion, heal for 10. Uh, so I'm just going to assume I click on it. All right, you're all bandaged up and ready for adventure main menu. All right, well, that apparently that was the tutorial. Uh, so that's cool. Um, I guess it just let me look at something here and okay so now let's see uh, what the new game is so that seems pretty simple as far as controls go uh, choose your lineage Imperium Magus uh, Umbra so Imperium famous for their skill with the sword House Imperium is deadly in armed combat uh, Magus renowned for their mastery of the eth Aether or Aether however you want to pronounce it Aether uh, House Magus is skilled in, in magic Umbra, working from the shadows, House Umbra utilizes surprise effects and poisons. Uh, so starting health 20, movement 4, starting gold 150, Magus is 25, movement 2, starting gold 100, Imperium 30, starting movement 3, starting gold 50. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so unavailable in demo, unavailable in demo, that's okay. So let's uh, choose Imperium. Okay, choose your game type. In draft mode, you pick from a random assortment of cards you've unlocked. That's draft. Uh, in free pick mode, you choose abilities and cards from your entire collection, which is unavailable in the demo. In sandbox mode, everything is at your disposal, unavailable in the demo. Okay, that's fine. Draft. Uh, choose your starting ability. So again, the cards are really hard to see. They are tiny. Um, they don't expand really that much in this menu either. So deep wound reduce healing effectiveness by 50 percent range of one deal six damage and inflict deep wound for two turns spiritual weapon summon a satient weapon from the aether uh, take make target vulnerable for one turn so you get to pick your ability uh, six damage inflict deep wound mm, yeah you know what we're gonna we're gonna choose the weapon one 
Uh, build your starting deck. So, uh, Bull Rush, charge at target, deal three damage, and set bleeding for one turn if target is a unit. Intimidate, deal three damage, and slow for two turns. Final Thrust, deal five damage. If the target is under 50% health, deal five extra damage. Um, yeah, let's, you know what? Let's pick that one. Uh, then what else? So, Bull Rush again, Final Thrust versus Shields Up. Give yourself and all neighboring allies a shield for one turn. Um, let's do Bull Rush. So, Final Thrust, Bull Rush, and Intimidate. Uh, let's go ahead and do deal three damage and so. Uh, let's yeah, you know what? Let's just do a variety. Um, we got final thrust, intimidate, whirlwind, deal four damage. You know what? I'm just gonna pick. I I, I know you can pick duplicates, uh, but I'm just gonna pick uh, a variety here. Uh, although I don't think I want the shield one. I think I'll do another final thrust. All right. So there's my card. I, I will say, folks, that I have do, have not played a lot of um, uh, card games. I, I I generally have not been really uh, excited about card games. So I'm I'm trying to fix that. <laughs> I guess for some reason I have this mental thing about card games. It it's it's just a personality flaw of mine. Um, I guess I think the thing I don't like about it is that you know. I don't like. I guess I just I don't like the card things where it's random what you get from your deck. Um, I, I like games where I have the same abilities, same attack, same spells all the time available at my disposal. So, uh, but I'm 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 learning. I'm I'm trying some card games. Uh, so let's see. As you open your eyes and see a lush landscape full of flowering plants and towering trees, the royal family has been overthrown. Yeah, you know, we saw the king get killed. Uh, but you've managed to escape. Search for a way back to the castle using the warp gates to venture through the realms. Uh, gather allies, acquire power, and overthrow the usurper. So this is not hard to read here. Your choices are not hard to, to read, but the cards are. Uh, receive a relic, receive a companion, receive a car, powerful card. You know what? Let's let's have a companion. We like companions. Aw, your party grows. Uh, leaves rustle nearby, and you turn to find a woman approaching from the trees. You immediately recognize her as Ileana, a trusted friend of your father. Um, Ileana, wow, that is really hard. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ileana is an elf employed by the royal family in tune with nature and deadly with a bow. Okay. Start your journey. Sure. Uh, okay. So six adventures remain. Gate one, two, three, and four. Um, I think they might be talking. So let's see. Uh, I'm the prince, level one. Uh, yeah. Should I go hunt some rat? Boy, that text is really hard to read, folks. That is real small. Um, camp activity, you can train. Training provides units with 10 XP between encounters. So during camping, I can train, or I can explore, or I can research, or I can trade. So what's explore do? Exploring gives you 20% chance to discover a card between encounters. Your chance increases by 5% for each companion. Uh, research. Researching gives you 10% chance to discover a relic between encounters. Your chance increases by 2% for each encounter uh, for each companion. Trade. Trade gives you 20 gold between encounters. So you can get uh, money, uh, experience, uh, get more cards. You know what? Let's look for cards. Uh, so we have relics. Do we have any relics? No, we don't have any relics. Uh, stash. We don't have anything in our stash. Deck. We have our deck that we picked. Um, okay. You know what? So <laughs> it's. I would. I could sit here. I'd have a hard time reading what they're saying. Just saying. Venture forth. So encounter. A beggar sits um, amongst the refuse. Combat. As you walk through the trees, you find yourself in a clearing. Enemies close in on you from nearby bushes. Quest board. You come across a board full of requests from the locals. So you get to pick which one you want to do here or go back to camp. I I'm going to pick combat just to see what it's like again. Uh, and then we'll pretty much wrap up. But this is, um, again, you're using your trackpad to move around, your right um, trigger to select. Uh, this is, th th I, I will say, folks, this is a little small. Uh, I think I would like to see it. Um, I would like it a little bit bigger, I think. Uh, maybe a little less on the screen, but a little bigger. 
Uh, okay, so we've got this guy over here, and Caterpillar, and Wolf. So I'm going to turn that sound down again because I really don't use it too much. Um, you can also see what they do for attacks, I guess. So you can see their cards. That's interesting. So let's see our, our Princey guy, uh, Final Thrust, Final Thrust, and Bull Rush. Uh, I cannot reach them with Bull Rush. So I'm going to walk. And then let's see if I can see. I have to. So Bull Rush makes you w run in a straight line. And final thrust is close by, so he can't do anything else uh, unless maybe you know what? Let's let's undo that. Let's walk over here, and then let's see. Bull rush. Yeah, see now, bull rush will. Oh, there's another uh, uh, monster right there. Hmm, interesting. So tell you what, let's uh, let's do bull rush, and we'll go over here so we can fight with the wolfy guy too. Okay, so charged forward and smacked him, and I inflicted bleeding, and apparently I have another... Oh, I can use all the cards that I want to. That's interesting. Deal 5 damage. Uh, if the target is under 50%, deal 5 extra. He's going to go down pretty fast, so we'll just click that and stabbed him. So he should be dead, I think. Why are you not dead? Uh, what's this? Spiritual weapon, summon a, you know what, let's do that. You require, oh, require two more mana. I don't, oh, I only have one mana. Okay, so, uh, do I end turn or do I move her? Let's see, nope, I guess I'm going to move her. And then, what does she got? Uh, arrow shot, deal four damage. So let's click that, and let's, oh, there's more of them over there. What the heck? I guess I didn't see that other guy over there. And so that's it, so she doesn't have any more moves. I don't have any more moves, so, uh, whoops. Yeah, I don't, see, I don't like it when the screen moves when you get close to the edges. That's, that's a pain in the butt. Um, all right, so Vampiric Bite. <laughs> don't like that sound. Uh, oh, I guess I did kill that one guy. All right, so she is back. Uh, she is going to, she's going to move one away, and then she's going to use the bow again. Okay, and I guess she can keep using it. Nope, cooldown. So she doesn't have any more cards. So she's going to stop. He, what do I got? Whirlwind deals four damage to all units surrounding you. I uh, don't want to use that. Uh, how about, yeah, we'll use Final Thrust and see what happens. Stabbed him. Okay, now I'm going to move up to here. And actually, you know what? I won't be able to use that afterwards anyway. So we're going to, eh, I'm just going to end turn, I guess, because I only have one, I have one action point left, and what is this, spiritual weapon, I, that needs uh, more action points, and this needs two, so I don't have it, so I'm just going to end turn. Alright, so ghosty guy came up and vampiric bit me, oh no, the wolfie bit me too, ah! All right, so it's me. Intimidate, deal three damage, and slow. Whirlwind. Oh, no, let's do Whirlwind because there's two monsters close to me. So I'm going to do, let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm going to click Whirlwind, and then do I click me? No. What do I click? Uh, or did I already do it? Did that work? Hmm. I don't know. So let's also click this, and let's click that as well. Uh, and then he's done. Let's see, does she have anything? No, she's done. So, end turn. I don't know if that, I don't know if that card did anything or not. I don't know if that wheel one did anything. I, I guess I wasn't watching. Uh, what am I here? I intimidate. That's all I've got for a card. Oh, I have my vamp, I have my, uh, my thingy thingy, so I'll get my satient weapon out. And now I have no, uh, no, whatchamacallit, so I have no uh, da, 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 action points. And who is this? This is a bad guy. Uh, what is my character, or my other character dead? Oh no! Um, oh no! My other character is dead! And I don't have, I can't use this because I don't have any action points. Nope, uh, I don't have any mana. So, you know what, let's just, let's run away! See what happens! <laughs> Save me, satiant weapon! <laughs>
Uh, oh, now they're beating up my Asatian weapon. Uh, okay, so uh, there's my final thrust. And how much do points do these guys? He's got 10 points. He's got 1 point. He's got 7 points. So if I go up to... Yeah, hmm. If I go up here, I don't know how many moves that's going to cost me. Uh, didn't cost any apparently. So we're going to go there. We're going to go there. And then since I still have action points, I'm going to use Intimidate. I'll do that guy. And then now I'm done. Uh, can he attack? Can I click on him? Oh, I can. So what does he do? Immunity to days, new turn, heal, 2 HP. Does he do anything? Chop, deal 7 damage. You require one more mana point, so I guess he can't do anything. So, new turn, t heal, 2 HP. Hmm, I don't know. I guess I'm going to end my turn. Stop it. Okay, I really don't like that. I really don't like that it moves when you get close to the screen. Alright, so they're attacking my Satiant Weapon. Now, my Satiant Weapon, new turn, heal 2 HP. I, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. Um, so, Satiant Weapon, you're going to... See, he's got 2, he's got 1, he's got 9. So, he's going to go... He's going to click that, and I'm going to attack him. He should be almost dead. And then uh, I can't do anything else. What's this? Slowed. Okay, what are you going to do? Bull Rush. Is that all I got? Is all I can do? Uh, okay, Bull Rush. Let's smack him. He should die. Okay, and then let's run over to this guy. And I guess we're going to end our turn. He bit me for bleeding. Vampiric Bite. Okay. So now we got Final Thrust. We can get rid of the Wolfy guy. And then Mr. Satiant Weapon can do his axe. And is that gonna... that didn't kill them all? Really? I still don't know what this is. New turn. Heal two hit points. I don't know if Somebody is doing that? I, I, I guess I don't, I, I'm not sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Satiant Weapon's just going to walk away. And can't really do anything else. So in turn. Okay. It's attacking my Satiant Weapon. Um, whirlwind. Just going to walk up. Now we're going to see what happens. Whirlwind. So I guess it did hit, I just wasn't seeing it last time. So he's going to do... Oh! That's interesting. So... Huh. So it looks like maybe the Satiant Weapons and my uh, action points are combined. That's very interesting. So... Aha! So the Satiant Weapon can't do anything else. I guess I'm going to have to end turn. I'll have to pay closer attention to that. Okay, so now, let's see. Satiant Weapon can do the attack. 7 damage, and he has 9. Uh, my guy has final thrust of 1. Alright, so let's see. This this requires 2. So let's let's do that. And then I have one more action point when I click back. Yep, yep, ours is shared. That's interesting. So we're going to kill him, hopefully. There we go. Party injuries. Ileana clings to life but will be out of condition for one turn. Loot. Healing potion. Uh, skip. Something plus ten. I have no idea what that is, so I'm just going to take it. Choose your reward. Bond. Um, give yourself and a target a shield and ward for two turns. Whirlwind, there's the deal four to all units surrounding you. Field medicine, while you're, while this card is in your hand, heal three health and lose one movement every turn. Hmm. You know what, let's take that one. Okay. And now we're back at camp. 
and she she's laying on the ground. <laughs> oh no, I knocked her down. Uh, all right, so five adventures remain, and Ileana injured for one more turn. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so that that's it, folks. I'm look at my deck again. I've got that other uh, that new field medicine thing. Uh, my stash. I've got that potion relics. I don't have anything. Uh, you could venture forth again. Uh, okay, so that's that's it. Uh, let's see if any of these things. I, actually, I wouldn't probably not in this screen. They wouldn't do anything. So click this. This goes back to settings. Uh, concede main menu or quick game. I don't want to concede anything, but I do want a quick game. Um, all right, quick game, and and that's that's pretty much it. So that's stolen crown, and uh, from you know, hey, look, from what I can tell, this looks like it's perfectly playable on the uh, on the Steam Deck. Uh, you're you're pretty much just using the uh, right trackpad to move the in-game uh, pointer, mouse pointer, and then the right trigger, the R2 button to select. Uh, maybe I mean there there were some key bindings there, and you know, maybe there would be some ways to map those. Well, there is a way to map those two uh, uh, buttons if it would be more efficient uh, when you're playing, and that's not hard. I mean, you can easily map the the um, the uh, buttons on the Steam Deck. Uh, the biggest, the hardest thing is is you know making sure you know which buttons do wit do what. And uh, so this game, any game that shows you in the settings what the key key bindings are. Um, or the key options are that's that's awesome that that's much preferable so uh, yeah stolen crown looks very much playable on the steam deck uh, I'll definitely play through this uh, this demo completely uh, to see if it's a game I want to buy I mean it seems like it's it'll be a fun little game again as more of a break from some of the larger scale games that you know take me months to play through uh, so so anyway yeah it's pretty cool um, I hope this helps, folks. If these videos are helpful, please like, subscribe, get comments, and uh, uh, I'm sorry, get notifications and leave comments. Um, I did just see a problem. Somebody, I think, tried to post a comment on a video, and uh, I can't see it, and I got an email, and they seem to be saying, why can't I see my last comment or my first comment, and I, I can't see the comment. There doesn't seem to be any comments. The, the, the YouTube is telling me there is a comment, but I can't see it. I have no idea. I, I checked the settings and I haven't done anything differently about allowing comments, so I don't know. I'll I'll try to check that out. Uh, but I apologize if uh, if if any other videos people are trying to leave comments and for some reason it's not working. Um, I, I will try to see what's happening, but I don't have any clue. I don't see anything different in the settings. Um, so thank you very much, folks. I have, hope you have a great day. Uh, I'll try to get some more videos up um, uh, today, and in the meantime. Happy gaming and have a great afternoon. I'll talk to you later.